Deontay the Bronze from a while, the WBC heavyweight champion of the world. And I'd like to give a big shout out to CJ Goodfellow from Sports TV. Bomb Squad, baby. All right, man, let's talk about uh, uh, PBC is leaking out their schedule. So let's jump right on to it. Check out the boxing was playlist for more videos like this. Should do a PBC playlist. So they uh announcing their schedule, man. So uh see how far we can go. Here we go. So they announced that uh excuse me, Jamal Charlo would not fight uh uh, uh, uh Jaime Munguia. He will fight uh Selucky June 18th in Houston. Yes, the same Selucky that fought Danny Jacobs, the same Selucky that Demetrius Andrade beat. I mean, Charlo just needed to, like, man, man he told y'all he's going to keep fighting the Montiels of the world, so they'll be fighting Magic Man Selucky. That's what I call him, who 30-0, and 0, two losses. He still ain't been stopped yet. Andrade, uh, I'll point, I thought Andrade dropped him. So I thought Andrade, but he didn't drop him, so Andrade just beat him up. Uh, then he lost to Danny Jacobs since losing to Andrade in 2019. Uh, he's went over. He be, he went he went back home, and but be Sasha Yangyan and Fahad L. Listen, I don't know Masadia, whatever. So, so he's fought twice since losing to Danny Jacobs. He beat Gabriel Zado. I thought he beat Danny Jacobs. I thought he got robbed. Them them stories was them scores was crazy. He also beat Jack Cole He beat Hugo Santonio. That's a uh, that's a common opponent that they got in common him and Charlo. Charlo stopped Hugo. Uh, yeah, Daryl Cunningham, he's from Detroit, by the way. Shout out to Daryl. This nigga still fighting, bro. That nigga, I'd be 100 years old. He used to come through. He's 50 years old, still fighting, like, boy. He beat Gregory Prosca. Somebody, that's who Triple G had his United States debut against. So now he's fighting right here. You see, he fired Jamal Charlo in Houston, man. Throw the whole, throw the whole fight card away. You know, they couldn't come. I guess they told me last night that Harmony still was on fire. And apparently, they couldn't come to fight off. They couldn't come to an agreement. So instead of fighting Caleb Plant in the winter, fighting David Benavidez, instead of fighting Jaime McGuee, fighting another bum. So it is what it is. So uh, Jamel Charlos rematch, Brian Costanza for Undisputed, uh, all his belts, May 7, May 14th. Jerron Ennis and Costio Clayton is the co-feature in the title eliminator for the right to be Earl Spence's mandatory, something that we already knew. Um... Javante Davis with defending his uh his W his WBA regular belt, which I thought they was getting rid of it versus Roley May 28th at the Barclay Centers in New York. That's I thought that's gonna be on pay-per-view, but um it's not saying it's gonna be on pay-per-view yet. So it is what it is. Steve Foden said he defended his belt versus Danny Roman, June 4th from Minneapolis. I can care less about that fight. Who cares? I mean, Danny Roman got beat by MJ. Foden tried to unify the whole division. I, IBF and WBO stepped in and mandated MJ, the guy he's going to be undisputed for, and made him fight two mandatory. So, like I said before, it is what it is. May 21st, uh, David Benavidez will face Dave Lemieux. Um, that's going to be at the Footprint Center in Phoenix, Arizona. Um, so, that's what they announced so far. Like I said before, I'm not – I I mean – I mean, they did a schedule release for this shit. You know what I'm saying? That's what they releasing the schedule for. Charlo and Salucky. Crazy, man. It's new Charlo, man. Like, man, they should strip him for being a bad champion. Seriously. I mean, what's the best fight out of all of you? I'm pretty sure you can probably announce some more in a second, too, but. I mean, shit, you taking up a June 18th day, man. And ain't nobody in Houston even show up and support them for it. They probably be giving away tickets. Because he ain't fighting nobody. And he was supposed to fight, uh, he was supposed to fight, uh, uh, Caleb Plan and Costanza. Caleb Plan, then the winner's supposed to fight Benavidez. He ain't want to fight Benavidez. So now he fights the lucky person. PBC is a joke, bro. Showtime, I don't even know why Viacom, Viacom, Still allowing them to blow money on boxing. They should follow HBO and get them niggas to boot like Manolo. They really should. Cause ain't none of this, ain't none of them. I mean, Danny Romano and Folk might be the best fight on paper, but 
Then again, don't nobody care about no damn uh no damn smaller weight classes neither, bro. I'm surprised, man. I'm pretty sure they might be announcing Donaire, but I think Donaire might have to go over to ESPN though. Donaire might have to go over to ESPN. So I mean that's something to think about too. So how Donaire and the Nuni Wild might be fighting. So I don't know if they're gonna be a, if they're gonna announce that like uh to, on Showtime, that's going to be on ESPN. And then we got to wait for the ESPN schedule. So then we got to wait for the ESPN schedule. So I don't know. But, you know, this is what they, this is what they dishing out. This is what they dishing out. Can't be, can't be mad about it, bro, because it could have been a lot worse. But they did a schedule release. Like, they, we was about to get some shit that we ain't even seen before. Like, we ain't even know. And all these fights, for the most part, we already knew. That day, day was coming. Come on. You know what I'm saying? We all knew these fights was coming regardless. Let's see if we get something else. So here we go. Mark Meow Souls taking on Ray Vargas July 9th. Come on, who cares? Ray Vargas is probably pound for pound the most boring fighter in the sport. Pound for pound, legitimately. Pound for pound, but here you go. Here you go. Here you go. So they saying that uh, Foden is defending his title June 4th. Guaranteed to be on the belt. I care about the little niggas not hurting each other. Danny Roman already got smoked by MJ, so who cares? So, yep, this is what they're giving you. This is what they're giving you. So, I mean, hey, like I said before, we ain't, we knew about every fight except for the Salucky fight. We knew about every fight except for the Salucky fight. I knew Ray Vargas was fighting, you know, the winner of this fight, Mike Mayak, saw Ray Vargas get, uh, uh, Leo Santa Cruz, but all in all, it's solid, solid. And if you some, you probably be the most fight I'm looking forward to. Foden and Ramon, it's a good fight. I'm looking forward to that too. Uh, Gary Russ, I mean Tank and Roly, probably be one of the biggest fights this year. Cole Porter, uh, Leonard Ellaby at the Barclays Center. Uh, Charlo Castano, so that's going to be a good fight. Boots and Custio Clayton, not sure about. Uh, oh, Oh, they showing them niggas sparring. Joe Joyce and Anthony Joshua. <laughs> Hilarious, bro. AJ said he stopped him in sparring. AJ make him like a damn fool. <laughs> you know, but, you know, we, we knew most, most about all these coming up. So, so, at least they ain't got these niggas in suits coming up there. Like, they fight like we getting a big fight. I'd be surprised me. Show me Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford if you want to surprise me. Show me, you know, but hey, that's what you're getting. It's a solid schedule. Uh, I'm not sure they're gonna do one for Fox, I can't really say. Um, yeah, I can't, I don't know. If I, I heard Fox cut, cut, cutting the fun, cutting the funding. Um, yeah, they cutting the funding, so I'm not sure what they're gonna have. Hard to hurt, they're gonna have some mid level type of fights, but um. Other than other than that, man, it's a solid lineup for sure. It's a really good one. Um, is any of the fights that we want other than Starlo Castanos too? I mean, uh, you know, all these secondary fights. I mean, Mark Miak was supposed to have to fight Leo Santa Cruz. Benavidez, niggas want to see him fight. I guess this is what we're gonna fight mandatory. Foden and Danny Roman, we want to see Foden and MJ for undisputed, but you yeah. know. It's a good lineup though. They ain't put no trash out here. All them solid. Um, then still gotta wait to return to Deontay Wilder. Um, so that might be coming up sooner than later. Um so Andrew Weed supposed to be coming back. He and Jim Spine Hardy no longer with Eddie Renato neither. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> My bad. So, uh, we're about to return him. Jake Paul supposed to be coming back too. 
So yeah, Jake Paul supposed to be coming back. So we got some interesting fights in this lineup, man. So if we fresh anything else we can get. I think that might be, you know. So maybe it's not even the best for last. Maybe you can get Floyd find somebody, but up. This is it, man. Um, so far, I'm probably gonna announce a few more fights. I'll cover it later today. If they do, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button, it's the bell icon button. You know, notification, increase the chance notification. We go live to a video. Check out the Black News playlist. Want to financially support the channel? Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313, PayPal link in the description. Best way to donate, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe, shout, comment. Hit the link tree link in the description. You take you everywhere I'm at from Spotify, Twist to Instagram, Twitter, and a couple more places. Appreciate the love and support. Let me know what's thinking about the schedule. Good fights. Once again, I'll round them off one more time. You got Mark. Let me see if we fresh and get something else. So we got Mark Miaxo, who took the belt from Gary Rustic on Ray Vargas, July 9th. Benavidez, David Lemieux, May 21st. Heard that's going down in Phoenix at the Footprint Center. Steve Foden versus Danny Roman, June 4th from Indianapolis. Um, Javante Davis will defend his title against Roly Romero, May 28th. Barclay Center's heard that's pay-per-view. Charlo Castano's two rematch with Custy of Clayton, Jerome Boos as the co-feature May 14th. <coughs> from all Charlo taking on uh, Selucky, June 18th from Houston. So appreciate the love and support. Um, but, yeah, that Jamal Charlo fight the most disappointing. But I guess, you know, and then Jaime McGuire didn't even have a deal with the zone. It's just loyalty, bro. Um, It's just loyalty. So couldn't get the fight done. Charlo fighting another vagabond. Older fighter. I mean, he fight Demetrius Andrade and Danny Jacobs leftovers, but he can't. He can't fight. Uh, he can't fight them though. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy that they they let him. It's crazy that they let him mandate this fight. That's wild. It's crazy they let him allow him to mandate this fight, but man. It is what it is. Good fight schedule. Um, can't be mad at it, but hey, let me know what you girls and guys think. Check the box news playlist.